Earlier, we talked about the importance of establishing a listing on Google My Business. Now, to recap, Google My Business is a platform that puts your business information on search, maps, and Google+. It creates a cohesive environment, and it makes it easier to manage how your business appears across those three areas. Now, if you've previously used Google Places for Business, your account has automatically been upgraded to Google My Business, but you'll want to review the information as new options are available to you. Let's walk through how to set up your page on Google My Business. So I'm on the Google My Business homepage, and I got here by visiting google.com slash my business. And in the center of the screen, to get started, you'll choose the Get on Google button. Next, we'll need to log in with our Google account. And I'm going to use the same account we configured for our analytics and Webmaster Tools. So just enter the credentials, and then choose Sign In. Now the next step is to look to see if our business is already on Google Maps. And we'll do that by searching for it using the box in the upper left-hand corner. I'll type Explore California, Ventura, California. Now you can enter in your street address or your zip code as well. You'll then choose the search option to the right and then review the results to see if your business is already on Google Maps. I don't see the business in this listing, so I'll choose the final option, none of these match. And that's how we'll add our business to Google Maps. From here, we're going to enter in our listing information exactly as it is on our website and other places around the web. Remember, we're focusing on consistency, so we wanna make sure that everything here is perfectly aligned. I'll enter in our business name, Explore California, and I'm gonna put in our street address. Now, in this case, I should put in the street address exactly as it appears on the website, but that address has changed, so instead, I'm going to use 6410 Villarreal in Carpinteria, California, 93013. And then we'll need to put in our phone number. And then the category of our business. And the category is based on the research that we did earlier on. Now finally, if your business is mobile and it delivers goods or services to customers at their location, you'll want to check the box at the bottom of this form. In this case, Explore California doesn't fit that criteria, so I'll leave it blank and choose Continue. Now the next thing Google is going to have us do is confirm our business. So we'll check the box that we are authorized to manage the business and then choose Continue. Next, you'll need to verify your listing by having Google physically mail you a postcard. And on that postcard will be a code and a link where you'll go to enter in that code. And what that does is verifies to Google that you can receive mail and that you are the business that you say you are. To get set up with that, you'll select the Mail Me My Code option, review your postcard, and if you need to, add an additional contact name or an attention. And then you'll choose Send Postcard. I'm going to select Cancel and then click the Continue and Verify Later option so that we can get set up right away. Now, you can still edit your listing while you wait for your postcard, but your listing won't appear on Google until you enter the verification code. And there you go. Your business is now ready to appear on Google Maps. And at the same time, you've simultaneously created a Google Plus page for your brand as well. In the next video, we'll talk about how we outfit our local listing with information, images, and more.